this game. We talk about VG Gaming getting control of the series, but Gambit, they group up, everyone together, they're hunting for blood. And you've got the time as well. Like they've, they've moved very quickly out into that Radiant Jungle, but Radiant Observe Ward planted. They'll plant their own aggressive one behind the lines. The VG Gaming are also all together. They don't want any kind of shenanigans to catch him out. Yeah, it's a nice play by both teams. I like the decision from Gambit, though. Whenever you got the one-game jump, I love courier snipes. I love five-man smokes. Do something that kind of gets into your enemy team's head after they've prepared for, you know, this new game. You know, you lose a game, you're like, all right, guys, let's go next. Let's go. And then you immediately find yourself at a disadvantage. That can be real demoralizing and leads to a lot of quick 2-0s. It's kind of funny where DY's walking. He's like, all right, well, I, I guess they're... They're not here. Uh, all right, the first person I found some information is Legion Commander. So, yeah, easy 2-2, two -two, rune trade off. No one will end up battling, even with the aggressive posturing. And this, and I love what you see Gambit doing here. A lot of times you have lanes that you want, but more, more often than not, you're in a scenario where there's one lane matchup you have to avoid. And in this case, it's the Sven against the Bat. So this whole movement was just to try and ensure the LC started there. But I like what Vici did, where they showed the lanes and they actually faked it out. And Bat's just going top anyway. So you have the matchup you didn't want here as Gambit. They're even going to try lane top as Vici. This is the right move, because Bat versus Sven is just so unfavorable yeah. for the Dire Side. And you can even see, like, look at the Hawk. He's all the way up by the Tier 2, and he's just going to have to start the long walk bottom, because this is not a lane he can play in. And yeah, FNG, they're, they're making the right moves here where FNG stays bot to get the XP and gold against DY. And we're gonna just see both cores constantly shifting back and back. <laughs> Monkey King's already on his way top. <laughs> it's, it's like, all right, well, we know where he's gonna walk, so I'll walk up this way. Meanwhile, the supports are very happy because they're gonna get a lot out of this. But how's the mid matchup look? At least with this, where we have core on core action. How's this meant to go down? You said the Dusu was gonna be a rough pickup or something the Gambit should have banned out. How does he work in the laning phase against the trap? Well, that, that's the problem. You have a 10 damage advantage as the Dusa, and it's very difficult for Alpha Ninja to pressure because every snake you take just ends up, you, you lose the ability to harass because it drains that mana. Um, it, definitely Medusa favored. However, you have a lot more kill potential as the Shrek, especially when you have an Emergent Earth Spirit always capable of moving mid. So and also, but if you check out the Monkey King, he is still yet to enter a lane. He is currently a walking courier, which in the lane movement wars is a huge advantage because he has so much more move speed in comparison to the 313 of Sven. Looks like Yang is actually finally making it. Uh, he's he's going to finally leave the top lane so Monkey can arrive. And Yang's going to cross through the mid. And you want to telegraph movements any harder <laughs> than this. Like, this is, this is beyond telegraphed. I was like, well, okay, fine. Well, it's that, about right of saying hello. <laughs> what is this? It's like VG Gaming, the only person really getting CS here as a but core is the Dusa. It doesn't matter because it's all about slowing down the Sven, right? You need to, who, who determined the tempo of that previous game? It was all the Hawk. Yeah. You know that Medusa will inevitably outduel a Sven as the game gets later. It doesn't matter if Monkey King has a poor start, if you're slowing down the Sven in response. It's all just about getting the Batrider in this lane that he is obviously heavily favored in, and more importantly, you slow down the Dahawk Sven. Yep. So FNG's got a harder job to do. He had a great game one, but transition then to game two may be a little bit more difficult. Yang is going to very much stay on top of him. They already put down the Disrupt the Wall, making sure that FNG has no way out, but then that's why you bring in Immersion, a rolling bolt. That's a level three ES already. Looking for the extra kick. Yang does not want to come underneath the tower. And he does say just out of range, but DY's in more trouble. There's no Orb of Venom on that Earth Spirit. He's got Rolling Boulder off cooldown right now. Rolling Boulder's down and he connects on DY. This will be the first blood going the way of Gambit into the hands of that very highly leveled ES. And yeah, you are very happy with this if you are Gambit now because the one upside of the, these lane shenanigans is that FNG was able to control the lane bottom. Batrider needs lane control, especially in his own safe lane, because otherwise you don't have the trap, the distance to actually pursue with the Firefly. It's a lot easier for Gambits to try lane to find kills, especially when they have that ability to chase. They're gonna go for a potential kill up on top. Fade's been waiting. Actually, no, he doesn't have level three yet. With Shackles, yeah. maybe there's the chance you can get the Jingu Mastery stacks up, but he needs that control time to make it work. Yeah, it's already looking very good for Gambit. Mid lane. Rolling Bolt is going to be off target, but the kick will still follow through, and Ari's caught on the wrong side of the river. He was trying to get aggressive onto Afo, and it won't work. Afo is already switching in the Mango. So if he needed the extra mana, he'll have it, but Ari 
Just like game one, yep. caught on the wrong yep. side of the tracks. I really want to reiterate, a lot of this is lane control. Where was Madu sustaining on enemy high ground? That's why Gambit's able to find that kill. In top lane, yeah, sure, Legion Commander's lane is pushing now, but it, he was pushing with it for so long that he's already level four. God, they're going again. The wall is up, DY. Oh, he's just getting kicked around. FNG's gonna stay in range, but they'll have to go into the tree lines to try and find the kill. Spence has already arrived. Yeah, they can go over towards Yang. Wall crying up. They've got the life to sustain, but they don't want to go underneath the tier one tower, especially as the supports have got the creep waves and three sticky napalm yep. stacks on both the supports. And I, I just love the way Gambit's been playing. They just seem a step ahead. And even here, again, controlling the lane. They're gonna just stand, run it around in a circle in front of their tower and ensure they can keep lane control. That's exactly what the Hawk's doing now. Top lane, sure, Legion Commander's struggling a bit, but he's your LC. He's gonna be a lasso remover and, an, and, and a dueler. He doesn't need to have the greatest game. Yep. And if he's able to pick up this five minute bounty rune on the top as well, that's gonna be three going the way of Gambit. They'll continue to extend that lead forward. And okay, maybe up against the Shaman, he won't do it. Shackles will cause some problems. But the ES is also these early levels that got into immersion. He hasn't claimed much since then, but in the two minutes since he moved off that lane, he, look at net worth he's been real everywhere. Fast. What's that net worth looking like? He is number one net worth for Gambit. He's actually Almost ahead of in the game Sven. as well. And this is with how many CS? Like six, <laughs> eight. It's not bad. Kills are worth a lot, especially when he's got two of the three of Gambit. Yeah. And not many people know about immersion, but all the CIS community did. He was highly recruited after this last TI. Uh, kind of coming out of nowhere in a sense, but a lot of players knew he was very good, and it is difficult to find four positions that are on the level of... Here we go again. We keep highlighting him up, but Immersion, he wants to be the star. They got the Edict damage out, but with the Stone Gaze, difficult to keep the chase going. Lashrak shackled up, Immersion. <laughs> this is not the greatest chaining of, of control, both Wall and Shackle being used at the same time. Yeah, FNG unknowingly standing on top of the already placed Radiant Observer Ward, so his movement will, however, force the Radiant side to their top shrine instead of the bottom, a bit of a further walk. Now moving back towards the bottom lane to ensure Dahak has that good time. Feels like Afo, however, is just having a... Like, he's really starting yeah. to gain momentum in this mid. He grabbed, a, he grabbed a DD rune as well from the top river. Yep. So it's not just the bottle charges, it's that bonus damage he could just pump a little bit into the town. 68 plus 70 is not too shabby. Yep. The, the one issue I have with the Vici draft, though, who's the core that actually rotates? Who makes movements around the map? Well, it's meant to be Monkey, right? Like, he moves faster, sort of. but it's also meant to be Batrider. Yeah, but they, they don't do it the same way a Legion Commander or a Lesh do. Stormbolt's already beginning it off. It's a two-point brain sap, and uh, he'll go up into the trees. Fire flying away. It's fine. You force it off defensively, oh, and here's wow. Immersion. This is a dead he bag came, for sure. He came back. Here comes a rolling boulder of Immersion. He's looking for some Earn Charge. He's going to claim it. Batrider cannot stay alive through this. Really well done. And this is Gambit just applying pressure in the Sven lane. He's now top net worth exactly where they want him to be. And top side again, sure. The LC is suffering, but Monkey King, he... Ooh, it's about how you turn this gold into further advantage, right? A Sven with an Echo Saber is going to use that to farm way faster than a Monkey King because of the built-in cleave mechanic. It's way more valuable to have this early gold advantage on your Sven. Looks like Afro wants to get involved too. Not feeling like he needs to stay alive too heavily. Like he's actually gone one, one null, one bracer, splitting it. And FNG, well, okay, maybe he sniffed out that Radiant Observer Wood as uh, he'll actually come forward and uh, deny it. I'll kill it. He's doing a great job with the vision game once again. To be expected, though. Here we go. Yang trying to make a break for the tree line, but there's a lot more damage this time around. God strength available yeah. for Sven. And, and this is the upside as well, like further of Gambit's lineup where they can find kills so much easier than Vici, who are really reliant on their supports to get things done. That's not feasible when they're both level four. And they're gonna go again? Emotion's ready to roll. Yep. And Shadow Shaman, you start with a stun, you're rolling Boulder in, the wall's up, but they're fine to be underneath the T1 tower with Creep Wave. Maybe not so much when the Monkey King starts getting a couple of sacks. A little bit too early on the hip, so they have to pull him back in again. He got the sleep. a nightmare. Monkey King, he'll be broken free. So Let's just hear it. going on to Hako with Afro and Ninja, Ninja arising. They're going to have more They're than enough dead. damage. Paparazzi's gone, and DY is going to join him as well. The Rampage continues. 8-0 to zero in favor of Gambit. VG Gaming, they can't breathe. They're drowning. Yep, this is what happens when you have five heroes willing to play Dota with VG really just... <laughs> Deuce has no chance of getting involved. 
He's a creep farmer for the next 15 minutes. And even the Bat Rider with 1700 net worth, what is Yang going to do if he TPs down? His damage requires time to set up. He can just TP in and Firefly, he'd end up dying too. And because this is a Lashrak and a Sven, that rotation also secures an objective. VG need to try and have some kind of plan. Like, RTK didn't draft this thinking, you know, VG, we're just going to die. Like, there had yeah. to be an objective behind this. And they're looking for a fight. FNG, hexed up, they'll take the trees, but here comes the TP support. Three from Gambit. FNG, broken free. The Legion Commander doing his job. If they can get a little bit more CS, he might even get a duel out of this one. The Glimpse trying to send him back. The stun from Monkey is really good with the Glimpse back. Got now it's immersion pulled in, but where is this dual target? You've got a little more seconds on that Magnetize. But Legion Commander, not feeling like he's got to fight here. Yeah, and it feels like Vici can't fight. That's the problem here. They're making moves, but Gambit of the Twilight team would save enough. Off target from Immersion, he'll get the slow, the charge forward from Legion Commander. Can no he actually reach him with the duel, but he cannot get through. Oh, that would the have been two kills. Came up just in time. That one second of faster movement there. They had grip and duel available. They would have been able to find both targets with full five second lockdowns. Runes will spawn. Looks like Gambit's going to control three already. A dominating presence around the map. Especially when it's for Dahak. He's actually holding it off. Yeah. So Afo is able to get two. But we, we've seen this from Mind Control when he plays a three yeah. position. Like you get that early bottle, and then he's just able to just to get straight up to full, and then still have another chance for after the next battle. Yeah. Gotta be feeling really good if you're Gambit. A lot of it is just immersion. Whenever Earth Spirit 504, 100% kill participation and the urn. He's rushing a spirit vessel and just He's so strong right now. He represents so much damage. In fact, he's more damage than both supports of Vici, especially before they hit level six. And then that's the timing. Vici will finally be able to be aggressive around the map once these supports have their ultimates online. And thankfully, they have the Tome to assist them in doing just that. I'd love to see if, if, they, if that can be a reality. In the meantime, the like Gambit, he's already got his hand of Midas on Dahak, Yang. Walks up, but Dahag just, well, he runs away. That but sword's light as a feather. The, but Disruptor was on the way. Rasta was on the way. You up just... towards the top. The fight's coming in. Monkey King, hold him, hold him, and it's time to duel. Monkey King, there will be a kill. control, but now it's just an easy move over towards Fate. He thought he was helping out, but all he's doing is dying. It, I, I, I point to the preparation of Vici Gaming. It feels like they're just not ready for the pace Gambit's playing with. But, like, this is Gambit's Dota. Yeah, this and is they look the Gambit just, in a nutshell. Yep, they're just falling over. It's Some, like... Something's not right. It's like turning on a faucet on top of a piece of paper. It just starts melting away. And yeah, sure, you can look to engage now, perhaps, if you reach it. Your team fight's still strong, don't get me wrong, but... You got to be able to find. Oh, look at that TP nightmare. They already had the dire observable on the hill. Gambit. They see everything. The wall, as well as the storm, comes down, and maybe they do get a little bit of a revenge into a merge. He's trying to walk it off at the moment. Six charges will not off. keep him alive. But with all the spells off, the magnetize is killing Paparazzi in the back lines. He'll try and tick out, and then we'll actually go down. Ori will get a revenge double kill into the ENs and the Bane. And my God, did he need money? And the big factor there was that the Lesh and the Sven were not involved in the engagement, but Ori's Medusa was. It's a lot easier. Uh, the VG lineup has to respond to aggressive actions by Gambit. So in that regard, that that's, that's what they're looking to do. The problem is they didn't have the tools to do so for this entire early game period, and thus they have a huge disadvantage, where in reality, you'd hope that it'd be only a thousand or two. My god, Afro's got haste through. So yeah, Fade's initiation was never going to work. 5k gold lead as well. In fact, Afro's coming back in. He wants to try and go for the kill. Shadow Shaman, if he can hit the split earth, he cannot do so. Immersion would have been very quick for the follow-up. Yeah, man, LC is going to have a Blink Dagger in 600 gold. You check out the net worth, Gambit with four out of the top five positions. And my concern really is, yeah, Vici, they'll take this game if Ori can get to a position, you know, his third, his fourth item. But the rest of his lineup is going to need... Oh, as he glimpses, going up to Afro, ball does not come up in time, and Yang really wanted this now. Maybe Gambit think about having their own initiation, but no, they think, they think twice. They'll get rid of the sentries, they'll get rid of the observe ward that was already there, because Sven's pushing the tier 2 tower on bottom. I just, I'm just so scared, Vici. You, you have Gambit, they're going to just all in on one of these cores. Probably the Monkey King. What's, a, what's Yang supposed to do? Well, he's gonna LC's try to a hard counter. They smoked just out of range of that dire observe ward, so this wasn't scouted out. FNG? And the one they're getting close on is Sven, but maybe now, no, war cry and run. They just, they can't keep up. They need the glimpse, they, but they, he doesn't have range. They need glimpse, they need, they need Batrider to actually have drums, so they can have some movement speed. Yeah. They need an item. And, and, and my is issue, he actually saving for a blink? 
My issue with the disruptor here is that Glimpse is a function of when your team is applying the pressure, right? You're loving fights and you're getting the exit kill. He's incredibly weak against a lineup like Gambit, who's taking the fight to you. How does Glimpse Monkey function? Jumps in towards the mid, quickly silenced, and they're all gonna back off. Rolling Boulder in, the Storm is down, and everybody from Gambit gets out in time, and his immersion just dropping rocks and taunting in front of him. He's got another kick available, connects it to DY. So much damage, and the follow-up it is still there. Rolling Boulder, giving them the stun, and what is what, he doing he there? Fade is still hanging around, he's gonna drop them out. Servant wants for Gambit, they have the, the kill, they'll move over towards the bat rider, because FNG, he's never contested. He's always got the fiends and Bob Paparazzi, you can see a lot from up there, but I don't think you want to look. Dude, the, what, sixth time that FNG Sentry Ward finds a free kill? And uh, Vici, they want to turn it around because they think Yang's going to be able to find some free initiation, but it's just not the case. Look at the warding. Look at the map control. You're talking about winning a game, choking out an enemy that's relying upon a hard carry. Gambit's formula to win this game is just that. They immediately go from top to mid, and this is what happens when you draft a lineup that can punish you get kills and objective as, as well, even if Vici got a couple kills like they did at that top tier one. In fact, the only kills they have this game, they're not doing anything with it, but buying themselves some space to breathe within their own jungle. I... I Five, f four bounty runes. I'm, I'm trying to look for the for the happy place. Like, that's it. I'm, I'm trying to look for that happy place that's, that's there for Tools Vici, up. but with the blink already revealed, that's one kill on a bounty rider, and the dual damage now of and plus 30. They're gonna add that pressure into the tier two tower on top. Once yep. they have a creep wave. No, they glyphed it, so they do have a creep wave. And the beauty <laughs> of what what I just say, they one kill, one kill on an off laner, you're gonna get a tier two. Okay, they, don't, they don't even care about the trip shot. Edict damage burns through the tower. Sven had the remainder of his god strength. How long until Gambit can take Roshan because they don't think VG can contest him? Probably a little bit of ways. Vici's team fight is still powerful. You've got to be careful. The Wukongs plus the Medusa ult, you get both of those off on three or four of Gambit's heroes, you're still going to get wiped. You got to keep playing this game clean and oh, ensure God. you're dominating the vision game. The Observer Ward from Gambit knows that there's two supports up here. Rolling Boulder in, you can look towards Fade in the trees. Blink Dagger from Legion, he's waiting for a good target. Has not found it just yet. Wait Is it a plans. Spade finding immersion? They want to initiate FNG, looking for a Nightmare Disable, but they drag it back. Finally, FNG has been caught out by VG Gaming. They've got to put him down. They're taking some time. Finally, they're able to do so. The rest of Gambit have already disengaged. We had the stat before saying FNG is the most sacrificial player, but yeah, that's exactly what he did just then. Yeah, you're fine with that. And that's all because the, the LC had to cleanse off the shackle, then FNG is getting gripped. But if you're going to lose a hero, you'd prefer it be one of the most sacrificial players in Dota. The gold swing not nearly as bad as were a, a, a core. And, and the BKB timing on Sven will be up soon. He's just the recipe away once he finishes off these Ancients. That's the timing for Gambit to really go aggressive because there's no method of peeling to Hawk anymore. Sure, you could last one through it, but the problem is they just... There's no damage on Vici at the moment. There's nothing you could do to take out Gambit's lineup unless they overextend and fight you in the middle of the Monkey King Thunderdome. Yeah, good luck with that. Gambit's positioning's been way too good. Getting that last bit of farm up. Still no BKB on this vent, but it's not far off, and they'll try and find the money through the bottom tower. Yang, all right, this is some confidence. He is so close to immersion. Can he smell rock? Here comes the rest of uh -oh. VG, they want to fight. Hey, they went in. Legion Commander says hello. The Shrek thinks about running away, but then the overwhelming odds. Oh my odds. god, Plus not everyone. Immersion, the Hex is oh with the magic back door, he turns on. Everybody burns sometime. Immersion, he can roll himself away. They put up the war cry. All game I want to do is disengage. They got three hero kills. Maybe they can find a different target. Paparazzi up in the trees. Can they cut him down? No, Afro just dodges it as Legion Commander wants to move forward once again. The storm is down, but no wall to hold mid position. The kicks just keep flying. Shackles holding into heart. He needs to break free in just a second. Is there some support? There's a motion on anything left? No, he's gonna rolling boulder. They're gonna let this man die unless they can push him with the, with the storm hammer. Glimpse? No, nah, you're coming back to Hark. Maybe you have some more damage. He has a TP scroll available. Oh, he can't do it. No he comes to trees. Move to the other side. Begins the TP. The truth is snake. It will arrive. Ori gets the kill. And they're looking for a train into Legion Commander. He'll begin his TP. Has anybody got a stun? No. All right, and bear in mind, the only reason VG didn't just get crushed there was because all three of their players bought back immediately. They died so fast, they were almost 
feeding in unison, and then they're back with all of their spells still available. But it, wasn't, all, once again, it wasn't the cause, though. It was Correct. a monkey. It exactly. wasn't Dooza. Dooza is now number one in the network. Yep, and that's the key. It's fine to buy back on these heroes because your entire game plan revolves around Ori becoming this super carry. Like, <laughs> Oh, it's almost like Gamble were like, oh, we don't want to fight this, but then they hit all of their spells on four <laughs> heroes. Apo Ninja walks over, they kill both supports, who immediately, look at that, buyback TP, both to the shrine. Gamble do a great job. You can see the strength of the Sven lineup because you can kite away so easily from both of the big ultimates of Vici, but it was just a five on eight. This reinitiate was a mistake. If they had just chilled, this would have been a huge fight for Gambit. Luckily, only losing the one core. It's actually one of those rare finds too, where you don't see FNG even get a Fiend's Grip off. Yep. There, there was a lot of control, the Mass Serpent wants to get the vision of the hillside, and this just turns into uh, a chase after Gambit, but yep. it, FN, it, FNG seems to be a new priority for VG Gaming to find. It's like, well, maybe we shouldn't have gone back in, but yep. it was still good. It, it, you, if you have the BKB on Sven, maybe you can do that. It's just too risky otherwise. Uh, Gambit now going to make a smoke move towards top. Want to try and set up around this tower. Are they going to find a target? Yang is nearby. The Observe Ward doesn't see him that far. Mass Serpent Ward's being committed. There's no fortification from Gambit. No one yep. wants to show Roots, themselves, it seems. in five. They're smoked up just to try and control these top bounties. Maybe and get a fight with TP's look who's coming. Course. This is an easy Fiend's Grip. Send him up and towards the air. He'll drop back down again. Split Earth will be able to connect. FNG will just use the Brain Sap to give all the damage and they need. Four heroes, and they get the plus dual damage. Can they even save the Tier 1 tower top? Look at the Mash know. Unit that's just arrived. That's worth. You don't care about this tower in terms of map control. You just want to deny the gold gain to Vici Gaming. Again, 20 to 5. Very similar to the previous game. It's just that this time Vici have the tools to win fights, unlike the previous game. So, again, Ori is still, he's a thousand gold ahead of the game. It's a Medusa. Yeah. He'll have a butterfly complete very soon. Does Gambit have problems with this? Like, obviously, Deuce is getting farm. It's never a great thing. But yep. the high ground defense, can they still crack it? The thing and why the Deuce is the perfect 22 pick in this draft is because you have the Monkey King. So if you're Gambit, you want to go for one of these two cores. There's no real save or peel on the side of Ichi, but they do have this one hero with a ma or two heroes rather, with huge ultimates to peel from the other core. So you can dive, you can all in on the Dusa, but you'll be standing inside of the Wukongs. Mm -hmm. Vice versa, if you go for the monkey, Dusa walks forward, or he pops his ultimate, and you're not really able to fight through that. So you, you want to just sort of blitz down one of these heroes, bait that big spell, and then reinitiate, unless you're able to just do so much damage that this just means nothing and Gambit kill everyone. I want to see how it all unfolds as Immersion's already preparing himself for mid. DY is trying to do the best he can to try and counter the vision game that's coming out from FY. Sentry wards down through the mid, but oh, oh hell, here we go again. No, sorry, FNG just getting that D ward in mid. Yep. No extra and sentries. Look, you gotta be careful. This is beautiful from Gambit. They're just gonna force all of Ichi back to base. You can see mass TPs coming in. They recognize that if they let Gambit take the high ground, their tier three might just die immediately with no glyph active for four and a half minutes. Deucer and Monkey do not have buyback. They're gonna commit into this. She's finished the full butterfly. Wanted to have it. It's a good board trap. Actually catching Lestrak Apo down in the little sideline. He thought he was safe behind the tree line, but oh, maybe he stuck. can't get away. He can't get back out. A Yule step the rub, but he's caught between the rock and the glimpse. Can help punish. Nice. Nope, we have a BKB. Dahak will begin his TP. Same for FNG. Everyone gets out, but what a great initiation using that freshly created ether lens from yep. Shaman to get the range he needed. And you can see Gambit's very hesitant. Even though they're ahead, Vici's lineup is built around this idea that it's incredibly hard to fight into them. Cool ward trap there from Rasta and Gambit are, that they can't actually fight into Vici ever as they start to walk forwards. The Dusa all popped aggressively. They're very lucky to only lose one. DY glimpses the Sven, but of course the BKB is there. He could have picked anyone, but chose to burn that valuable CD. They saw Yang for half a second. FNG's gonna drop a secondary sentry ward. Okay. Dance with the Nightmare, and I'm not quite certain what Yang was looking for, uh, but he'll find, he'll find Gambit, and they'll so give that's... another bit of damage, 76 dual damage increase on the Legion Commander. And this is so key because Afterlife is going for the anti-carry style, the Blink Blade Mail. He'll be going Shadowblade BKB next. You don't need damage items when you get this much dual early on in the game. Here they come. Three man smoke up. Who will be there? Illusions don't attack those. Oh, we should have seen he body blocked yep, it for half yep. a second. Gotta be careful if you're Vici now. Look at FNG, he just doesn't care. He runs forward, the pings are coming out. Smoke will cover you from any yeah, kind of they, detection. They might be lulled into a false sense of security though because the Leshrac is gonna show bottom and Hi, Gambit's Shaman. gonna find the, yep. 
Oh, the jump forward. Duels off cooldown in seven seconds time. Uh, that won't be used on the shaman. He's set for so long. Remember those five extra before, but they're still oh hanging God, they around. PG never got away. Oh and then it was past the clay! The they're gonna go for more. Oh, yeah, they will. Ari thinks he's getting he's himself out of this one. It. You've actually got, in just a second, they've got Duel available. They'll start this off. Fiend Strip. FNG just want to hold him there for an extra second. The Blink M Duel. He needs to get it off. He's going and for it. He's going for it. No, the Manta looking for the dodge. Able to do it. They don't have they, a creep wave, so that's all they're going to get out of it. Nah, but again, will. it's like Vici. They, it's like they're not ready for this. This is Gambit every game today. This is number five. This is how they play. I love what they're doing, though. They, they take all this map control top, and then they just swarm towards the other side of the map, herding Vici around the map. You have a choice. Do you want to play defensively in your base, where maybe you could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against us? Or do you want to just get wiped in your own woods? There really isn't much of a choice for Vici. They're going to have to play more defensively around this Ori Medusa. He's got to make himself the target. And Immersion really sets that up. Double silence, interrupting the Wukongs. As soon as the Monkey King is isolated, that's it. Or he can do nothing but run. I like how Immersion's left out of the first shrine, so he TP's up to shrine the second one with that. Yeah. They're both going to have the same cooldowns. But let's have a quick look at this once again. Yeah, Initiation it, starts you, over just, on Fade. You got to ditch him, right? Like, what... In what universe are you going to be able to fight this? Yang's not alive. You see, but look at this huge silence. Wukong's just a quarter of a second for coming out. And Dahak really didn't even need to BKB. He does so much damage. Love his decision once again for going the Blink Dagger. Echo, BKB, Daedalus. You get an item to help yourself farm. You get the item that allows you to fight. And then you maximize on your damage potential because you're never going to be able to go late, late game against mm -hmm. Adusa. Ensure that you can crush through this game right now. Gambit's still looking to get aggressive. Yeah, VG looking to do the same thing. They're currently having FNG walk into the middle of them. Immersion. He's Getting hanging closer, around. Though. He's the one with the mech. This ES has a mech to give them the extra life. Be careful. As FNG. Man, is this the ultimate bait? He's just sitting there. He's like, please, have a crack at me. Gambit's now going to roll the ball back. in. He's already died. He's looking for abilities. The storm ball's they out. Get, the door's dead. The mass of wards is quite nice, oh but now it's going to be two to dead for a full minute. They're inside the Wukong's command. Legion Commander has to push himself back out. There's one, but Afro glitz back over. He'll battle inside the Wukong, working against Paparazzi. They still have to get past the mass of wards, but they won't matter. They finally killed off the monkey. They're farming up Whoa. the mass of wards, even before chasing down the extra kill, which is Fade. He's running to the north. Yeah. He can steal the regen room, but Gambit's going to go for either Roshan or they got to push mid. I take the back. I'm so dumb. Of course he's not buying a Daedalus. You get the MKB. The 35% evasion on Medusa, yeah, that's no longer a thing. If you're able to get the duel off before he's able to pop the stone gaze, yeah, there's no peel. You are going to die as the Oridusa. 30 seconds still on the deck, and they're walking up for the tier 3. My god, the amount of damage in Gambit's lineup. It's not just God Strength, plus 94 on the Legion Commander. He's cracking over 200 a pop. The tier 3 tower, it will fall. Yep. How much they want to push for That's more? It. The melee? No, they'll back up. It's take Shrine, take Roshan. Yep. That's the disruptor factor. You need to go away 10 seconds before you'd usually need to because the glimpse could potentially bait you into a fight you just don't need right now. Get the tier, t uh, the Shrine and go and make your next fight around the Roche Pit. They're going to be so ready for it. Is a BKB going to come out in the courier for the Legion Commander? Yeah. And seriously, credit to FNG once again. We're like, well, what is this guy doing? He's just feeding. But he, <laughs> his death means nothing. And he bought so many spells used. There's no Monkey King stun. FNG, sure he does, but he's immediately, he's planning on buying back. How many times have we seen VP and Solo do that? We actually almost talk about the vision game from FNG. Like, yeah. like hey, yeah, he, he, he's, he's providing it himself. He's the scout. Yeah, yeah I was like, let me just walk in. I can TP over. Not a problem. We still have a shrine and we're playing near it. Yeah. Here comes VG Gaming trying to contest for Roshan. He's down one third. The Glimpse going to pull uh, the Legion Commander but back up the river. They go for the wall. They've caught their target. It's FNG. It'll be a long dieback for Rolling Boulder. They find DY with the follow up kick. Ori, he gets a stone gaze up with the BKBs, Ben. Well, he's stoned for the moment. Here comes the Wukong's command with the shackles. Legion Commander is trapped in. The Trump already pulled back into this fight. Immersion wants to go for more, looking for fate over the tree lines, but the stun is out. Finally, the Wukong Wukong's command, it will wear off. The Mass Serpent Wars will be planted. Immersion wants a rolling boulder away. The Hex on FNG, they are still trying to get out of range, but Paparazzi finally doing some damage, getting in there. They look towards Roshan. Fade is almost dying to Roshan. He got bashed up there, bottling him in. So he can get back up the hill yep. with some level of life. Two big keys. Oh, oh, oh what? Woo! Godlike, Yang once more. They want to try and punish the Hark. Fade, no he's low on life, but he's holding his ground. They get themselves a double kill, but after they're just going in the in. back lines with immersion, they turn on the pulse, and everyone's ears will ring. Paparazzi, he turns on his own PKP, still underneath those mass serpent boards. 
It's a 1v3, and Monkey has no other choice but to go all the way home. Yeah, you can see, so th the glimpse created some confusion with Afterlife. He almost was able to get that blink off before it was canceled as the Hawk went in on the Dusa. Ori getting his ult off as the stun was flying. Oh, That's why he stays alive. Afo doesn't care about Roshan. Like, without the Legion, you probably don't want to do it anyway, but you try and force buybacks. Yeah, no glyph. You add pressure into VG Gaming. The creep waves arrive, so yeah, no glyph, no backdoor protection. And very little the paparazzi can do when Wukong's command is down while his BKB is also on holy, cooldown. Holy they will take shit. the lane of Rax. Look at Immersion score. Yeah, he's 16 1 15. On 31 this out of 32 kills. And this, they're all here. Deuce is still dead. That's two racks. They're going for more. Yang looking to go around the back lines. Paparazzi thinking about a stun to prepare. Two lanes of Rice going down. The Hex is over on Sven. No mass surf mods, and he's just going to blink himself away. No damage either. The Glimpse catches Immersion. The Wall, however, will not, so they have to use a Shackle, but the British press the attack. Breaking him free. Another rolling boulder up. You want that hit from Paparazzi. He's looking to go the stacks, but then G! He gets the grip. No, the Storm will end up canceling it. The Paparazzi is in way too deep. The Strike won't do anywhere near enough. Turn into a tree, but that won't save you. The Duels on Disruptor, and now it's Gambit's turn. They will just beat through everything. Everyone, Ori can stone everyone up they want to, while Yang puts the fire and the flames on top of them, maybe with a flame break, pushing it back out, Afo is low, Yang, he needs to burn him down, able to do this, maybe Medusa with a force up, gets up the hill, the spirit vessel still causing a hell of a lot of problems, another mystic snake, that won't do anything, she's down for the count, so is the Bat Rider, it is only one, it's fate, it is GG, Gambit, my god, these guys are good, they will 2-0, VG Gaming in the lower bracket, eliminating the Chinese. Talk about David versus Goliath. They take down two giants today, Liquid and VG Gaming. And it's the story of this patch and just what Dota has become. The biggest difference in this series is the play of the two supports. FNG, incredible job controlling Vision, leading his team throughout in Immersion. You really can't ask for better Earth Spirit play. That was near flawless. And they, look at them. Vichy look like they're just lost. It's they like, just got crushed. What the hell happened? The draft was off, but at the same time, I want a flag right now. You can say the Gambit is in the lower bracket, but if you look at the remaining teams, they all came, most of them came out of Group B. EG, LGD, as well as Team Secret, a three of the remaining five teams, and Gambit is the fourth in that position.